Premier League action. One man is smiling on the set, and that <laughs> is him. That's this man. And, of course, this man here is a Liverpool supporter. Now, of course, let's put things in perspective. Liverpool beat Chelsea in what arguably, in my view, was the first real test of their character in the Premier League. Because I think the first... Ten well, games. There was many. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> at the moment. I mean, you know, the top six might even be very lucky this season. Yeah. But anyway, uh, this was the first real test against uh, those that were actually being touted as uh, some form of a, a title contender, uh, so to speak. But uh, tell, uh, tell me, what do you think Liverpool did right? I think Liverpool, it's, it's the experience that caught them over the line. Because if you look at Chelsea, they're a very young side. As much as some people say they've got experience. But that Liverpool side is very experienced. And there hasn't been much change since Klopp left. Mm -hmm. So it's the same squad that almost went for a quadruple last season. Mm -hmm. So it has so much experience. So even on the day, what made them get over the line, just nicking it away from Chelsea, it was the experience. Yeah, ultimately experience. Because if you look at it, ball position... Younger in it, Chelsea had a lot of ball position, but they just couldn't penetrate. Uh, the one goal that did come, obviously, Liverpool were playing a very high line, and Nicholas Jackson, as we've seen these days, through pass, through So I, I, I think um, I, I Liverpool played well. well they both played well, mm -hmm. but uh, Liverpool uh, knew what was needed, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that was scoring. Yeah. Because yeah. you see, you see uh, Copa more off form like that, yeah. uh, you have to utilize. Because yeah. on a normal day, that that, that guy who uh, remember what he did uh, the last time when he played Manchester United. Yeah. From yeah. nowhere, he scored three, he scored uh, two goals when we thought we had win it. So now that he was off form, Liverpool just they knew what was needed in that he scoring. They did score. Who knows? Maybe if that penalty, if there was no far, that was. Uh, that was uh, the referee said that was a penalty. Uh, they maybe they I predicted two one in yeah. favor of uh, Liverpool because like what Brian said, I was uh, banking on the experience that they have. Chelsea, yes, it is a good young squad, but that experience element is needed. Definitely. Um, and I think you're 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 so you're so right in terms of that in terms of the experience. My general feeling around that game as well for Chelsea. Um, I think Jadon Sancho was then also shown with the Borarat Siani. Who now goes to Bundesliga? He failed to penetrate a side with one of the defenders who's always out of position. And no that's Trent Alexander Arnold. No Gunjanji, quite a while. But he was unable to beat Trent Alexander Arnold. And others will say, I ah, know it's unfair, maybe, uh, you know, sour grapes from Man United. No, I feel that Sancho slows down the ball, slows down the play. Mm -hmm. And that might not necessarily play into someone like a Nicholas Jackson or a Noni Madweke. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. Madweke all of a sudden adds him footy ever since, um, you know, Jadon Sancho came in even on the left-hand side, because Jadon Sancho loves to massage the ball. Ta -ta -ta -ta. That's the problem. And he would <laughs> <laughs> be yeah. romance with the ball and things like that. But anyway, let's go on to the other side of things. Arne Slot has now become the first manager to win his first 10, uh, um, to win 10 out of his first 11 games as a Liverpool manager ever in the history of Liverpool. What does this say about him as a manager? Uh, it means that he has adapted well because it's, sometimes it's hard as a new coach to settle, especially given uh, in the English Premier League. That's a very tough league. But at the same time, we should not look too much into it. It's only eight games into the season, like uh, in the EPL. Then the other two games which he won were Champions League and Carabao Cup. So let's not rush into it. Guys, it's only October. <laughs> <laughs> it's only October. All right, so this is the first time for me... Um, you know, no, but as we're going to be wrapping this one up, this is the first time for me I'm now seeing a Dutch manager outside of the confines of the Eredivisie uh, delivering some form of uh, early on success. Others may argue that maybe Eric Ten Hag started quite similarly. Um, but I feel like Slot has got a handle on on how Liverpool plays, on the identity, and his identity, Yakuto Onekauta. I, I think he knew he was coming to Liverpool well, way before we thought uh, uh, Klopp was going to leave. Mm. 
<laughs> because he, 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 he just clicked mm -hmm. just like that anyway the team is more Salah mm -hmm. and uh, uh, uh die yeah. in as much as it is a good squad but i think it's about his relationship with the players mm -hmm. and like uh, eric tenag uh, will say to be uh, <laughs> <the> master. <laughs> so i think uh Enslot is a um, senior teacher <laughs> so now what, what he needs to tell mm -hmm. the kids and now they're delivering and it's good for him all right so, so obviously uh man united one two one manchester city another very controversial win uh gentlemen we'll quickly talk about this one before we run because i i felt we can't end the show <laughs> without talking about this one was that a goal the 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 the, the winner for man city i don't think it was a goal uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay your general explanation you know i'm still puzzled that they even made it stand <laughs> You're still struggling. <laughs> I'm still struggling. Was it? Uh, no, it wasn't. Mm. Uh, yes, of course, they went to VAR, but I still feel VAR favors uh, the traditional big team. I know some will argue that Man City is not yeah, a yeah, big it's team. Yeah. It is a, just a, a more recent a, team. Yes, but I think uh, it has always been like that. Because mm. if, if they had said that was not a goal, we all know the kind of person Pep Guardiola is. Mm. And uh, the, the, the negative comments that are going to come okay, uh, out yeah. of those. So it was easier to give it to Man City than to say it was not a goal. Oh. Yes. Yeah, I, I agree. I think that is the best summary we can get on that one. My reason for it not being a goal, number one, prior to the corner kick that was taken, a Wolves player had been fouled. Goncalo Guedes had been fouled in the box. It was supposed to be a free kick to Wolves, and clearly that should have ended the game. And then number two, initially, when I was then looking at the replay, they were showing um, that as a face on to the goal. We only saw Bernardo Silva going away yeah. from the goalkeeper. So it would seem like as if, yes, he wasn't in the line of sight. But as the corner kick was being swung in, Bernardo Silva was not even, he was right close to the keeper, he was with Benjamin uh, Jose Sa. And then after he had pushed him as he was going away, that's when the header then came in. So clearly there was contact as the cross was coming in, and surely it should have then been. A foul against Jose Sa. But oh. then again, I am not uh, IFAB, <laughs> which is International Football Association <laughs> Board. I am not VA. I'm not the Premier League. Uh, I'm not Pep. I'm not Gary O'Neill. <laughs> I'm not the referee. I'm just an analyst from Zimbabwe on Sports Extra. <laughs> <laughs> but now, I, I want to tell you something, uh, Ruimbo and Brian. Uh, now that they said it's a goal, mm. you see other teams doing the same thing. And they won't get the goal. <laughs> and they won't get the goal. <laughs> when Bao analyzes it, you see it will be chalk. Yeah, it will be chalk. <laughs> because that's the reason. That's the same thing that Gary O'Neill was saying. Mm. He said Max Kilman did the very same thing against Bournemouth last season. Mm. Very similar incident. But I was, was choked off because they were saying that the proximity. And it wasn't an issue with it. Was about, and the proximity to the goalkeeper was too close. So, what more of the proximity did you want for Bernardo Silva? Did you want him to be right <laughs> on the back of Jose Sa holding him? And, and Agato Morita and Ngirikini Babu. Is that what they wanted? I'm not so sure. I think it's, it's inconsistent with VAR. Yes, yeah, it's yes. Anyway, what do you know? And my yeah. United, your man United yeah, is Liverpool. I know a lot of people say, ah, Look at those guys. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cities, but I'm just saying it as it is. These are facts and uh, experience. It has happened before, mm. and uh, the goal was disallowed. Now it has happened. It is given. It is given. <laughs> it will happen again. It, it is will be disallowed. disallowed. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that brings us to the end of the Sports Extra Show for this week. Uh, don't forget. To